Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Arduino. It's a little bit different. Today we're filming in the dark because today we're gonna be working with the LED. Um, this is a little bit different um, and a little easier project, but this LED is different in the sense that it's not your typical um, two prong um, red, green, white, or blue LED. So today we're gonna go through some of the basic wiring diagrams, um, the code, and essentially how we can make a project with this four prong LED. The reason why today's video is different is because this is actually a four prong LED. You can see it with those four pins right there. And with this, what we're gonna look at is why specifically we need these four distinct pins. And you may notice that the LED is a little bit clear and it doesn't have a specific color like the red, green, or the white one. And, and maybe you can say this is a white color, but the reason why is because um, the code allows the LED to appear as multiple different colors, not just red, green, blue, or white. Um, you can actually control the RGB, allowing us to choose different specific colors. As you can see with this LED, it's not just limited to one solid color. So you can see how it's continually changing and it's fading in from one color, like a pink color, to like a gray or a what, to a green or like a turquoise or a whiter color. And so today we're going to be focusing on how we can control this RGB. Um, but first, let's look at the wiring diagram. Okay, so here's our wiring diagram. You can see we have our four pin LED RGB. Um, we have three resistors, um, each of these different values. Um, you can use about 100 is what I recommend, but um, any resistor value is fine. Just know that the uh, the smaller the resistor value is, the brighter the LED will be. So do what you will with that information. Um, something super important to note is that the longest pin on the four pin LED corresponds to the ground pin. So out of the four pins, the longest pin should correspond to the ground pin. Um, there are also pins connected to the RGB values that it controls on the LED. So you can see that the value, the pin to the left of the longest pin controls the red value. The pin to the right of the longest pin cor corresponds to the green value and the rightmost pin corresponds to the blue value. I've color coded the um, wires over here and you can see these resistors are connected. Um, make sure that they're connected exactly. So it's 9, 10, and 11, each of these being red, green, and blue. Um, if you don't, you're going to have to update that in the code. And the particular thing about this is that red um, has a certain value. So if red is accidentally mistaken for green, then it could cause a different value to show up and thus it won't display the same pattern and it may look a little bit different. So unless you have experience with this or you know already know what you want to do, I'd recommend that you follow this just so that you can copy the code and just make sure that everything checks out. So this is generally um, the code, the wiring diagram. And with that, we're going to look at the code setup right now. So here's a quick look at the code. Um, I can upload in the future a second part of the code that I kind of cut out just for simplicity that deals with the second LED. Um, since if you looked at my circuit, you would notice that there's one main LED and then there's another pattern going on a second LED. So we have the red pin connected to pin 9, the green um, segment connected to pin 10, and then the blue segment connected to pin 11. And you can see that should correspond on the actual Arduino. Um, we're setting some values for the red, green, and blue. So you can see that we're starting off with a greater red intensity as opposed to green and blue more in the middle. And we're going to see that we want the red to go down, we want the green to increase, and then we also want the blue to go down. So this should create an interesting pattern. Um, we want to write these specific values. 
the R values, the G values, and the B values, which will be written when the function is called. Um, just for a future sneak peek, here is when it's going to be called. Um, and you can see each of these values go into the function, which will then be represented here. And all this is doing is this is passing the value from here, the passing the parameters or the given value when the function is called um, and making sure that appears on the LED with the Arduino. We want to set these pins as output. And this is the important part because it allows us to create this sort of um, pattern. So what we're doing here is we're decreasing red. You can see that these are the directions that it is referring to. We're decreasing red, we're increasing blue, and we're, de we're increasing red, we're decreasing green, and we're increasing blue. And that's what's going to keep happening until it reaches some of these um, conditions. And essentially, when it reaches this condition, when red is greater than or equal to 255, or red is less than or equal to zero, it's kind of reached um, the max R value. So it can't get any more red, or it can't be any less red, if that makes any sense. Um, so we're going to multiply by negative 1. And once it's multiplied by negative 1, it goes in the opposite direction. And essentially, it will go the opposite way. So if there is about the if the red value is about zero um, now it's going to increase to 255 and once it increases to 255 it's going to multiply by negative one to come back down to zero um, same thing for the green um, we want it to reverse direction when it reaches kind of um, an edge and the same thing for blue once we have solidified all of these different values now it's also important to know that these functions or these lines will only execute if um, these conditions are true. So if red, green, or blue reaches an edge value. And once um, this is true, it will set the color of the RGB, um, which as you can expect will be very different um, since these red, blue, and green values are have a lot of variation or kind of random. Um, and a delay of five milliseconds is needed to see um, the color fade and fade in and fade out in a kind of loop as a pattern. So this is a basic look at the code. Um, I'm going to paste this in the, in the pinned comment. But all you have to know, the basic gist, is, gist of it, is that the red, green, and blue alternate increase or decrease the RGB values to maintain um, a balance and show variation of colors um, and kind of reach or display every single one of the RGB values. So that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Today we learned about the four pin RGB LED and how we can create different colors and different patterns just like this. Um, if you enjoyed or have any questions, make sure to leave a comment and I'll be sure to respond to them. But with that, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.